Hi, this is Push the and Happy New Year! Uh, this is the first phase of the year and um, basically to celebrate the end of an era I'm showcasing all of the Jodie Whisker slash Chris Chibnall era releases. <laughs> basically. Um, so there is a, an odd one out and I'm going to get to this one later but basically what I'm going to do here is just talk about what I thought of the whole thing, uh, any standardised episodes I thought were worth mentioning, and uh, also just my general opinions. So, um, I have to say, out of all of these seasons, um, Flux here is my favourite, uh, mainly because this actually has a story, uh, and, um, and it was well paced and things like that. Also, Village of the Angels in this was absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, my favourite episodes. Um, with uh, season 12, uh, or series 12 rather, um, I quite liked series 12 because um, it's, it has a good overarching story, but the problem is, is that it was okay. I mean, it didn't have... Um, the substance uh, required, I would say, to make a good story. So, um, so, but, but basically, um, I'm basically saying that the Lone Cyberman the story arc should have been fleshed out a bit more. And I think that Ashad's the Lone Cyberman himself was a fantastic character. I mean, um, I like the ones of Villa Diodati, Villa Diodati um, in that one. That was really good. Um, also, Fugitive of the Jew, Doom, I quite liked as well, but that has divided some people, apparently, because of the Fugitive Doctor. And I have my own headcanon for the Fugitive Doctor, which is that uh, the Fugitive Doctor is actually a parallel Doctor, um, or doc Doctor from a parallel universe. And, um, yeah. And, uh, oh, I also have my own headcanon for... Um, uh, for the uh, Timeless Children as well. And basically, the Timeless Child is actually the Master. Which makes sense, because he carries on dying and coming back to life, basically. Alex is actually one as the Master. Anyway, um, please check out uh, my individual unboxing reviews for all of these, but I'm just going to go through them just generally now. So, this one is my least favourite <laughs> out of all the Steelbook designs. Um, but it's very, very colourful on the inside, um, as pretty much all the marketing has been for uh, this era. But yeah, um, Series 11 I thought was the weakest out of all of them. Uh, but this one, I'll come back to this one in a minute as well. I quite like this one, I quite like the disc layout. More discs, five discs instead of four or whatever. Um, this is my favourite season, as I said. It's got art cards and things like that in there as well. And finally, uh, here we've got um, uh, the, the, the Series 13 specials. And I quite liked um, The Power of the Doctor but, and the other two, even the Daleks and uh, Legends of the Sea Devils, uh, are just a bit forgettable. And quite, I have to admit, quite a lot of stories in this era are actually forgettable. Anyway... There is not one else, as I said, which is this one, Revolution of the Daleks. And uh, as you can see, it's not in a steelbook, it's just in this. I think um, I was put off buying this until earlier this year because I was expecting it to come out in Series 13, but it didn't. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to take this. So... I'm going to take the disc out of here and I'm going to shove it in here, save some room on my shelves, put it in there, put the other disc on top, it fits. That's nice isn't it? So yeah, um, however I've got these other bits and things like the art cards and whatever this is, the uh, merchandise guides. So, where can I put these? Put them in flux. Okay. 
Can I put can I put minx? Yeah, I can put the Arscars in flux, certainly. Can I put um, this one in as well? I'm just wondering. So behind the flux booklets, and put the flux house cards in, and then the revolution house cards. So just for the rest of you, that's what I've done basically. Duke. Well, that works. I mean, this this does feel a bit bulky now, but it's fine. So yeah, uh, and I have an empty box and an empty sleeve. So yeah, now it's all in here, all of the era. It wasn't the best era, but see, it was okay. I'm hoping that uh, things will pick up now that Russell T. Davis is back. But yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you and just to showcase the collection. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and... I shall see you again um, next, well, uh, in the uh, next fortnights when I shall be releasing uh, another Doctor Who style video. In fact, uh, this year is gonna, there are going to be a lot of Doctor Who videos, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I shall see you again in a fortnight's time-ish. Okay, goodbye.